Yeah, yeah. We so, starting with continuing with continuing. Okay, I'm sure. I read the last verse from yesterday then from the Gita Govindam. I'm running behind you. I cannot walk so fast. Take me with you. When Shimati hears these words, worried and anxious calls of her maidservant, she will certainly become merciful to her. That ends the verse, explanation of verse 21. And now we read about the uh, Sunanidi. With the mercy of our Gurudev. And Srila Prabhupada Saraswati and Ananda Das Babaji and many others, we are able to read this beautiful book and the explanations to walk on the path of Padadasyam. It's so beautiful. O oh, Sri Radhike. When can I carry your lotus feet that contain a constant great stream of honey nectar that flows from the ocean of love <coughs> toward the surrendered souls and that, that are the wealths of Govinda's life upon my head? O Sri Radhike, When can I carry your lotus feet that contain a constant great stream of honey nectar that flows from the ocean of love toward the surrendered souls? and that are the wells of Govinda's life upon my head. When can I carry your lotus feet upon my head? Shirata's lotus feet, the wells of Govinda's life, commentary. Swamini is mad when she rushes out to meet Shyam. And her maidservants feel intolerable distress when they think of how she must be hurting her tender feet on the way, just as the gopis were very worried about Sri Krishna's feet during the Rasa Lila. Nice to see the difference between the Manjari <laughs> and the Gopis. So you can see in this explanation, we are meditating on Swamini's lotus feet. And the gopis are meditating on Krishna's lotus feet. I think yes, it did. Yes, you made the same comment. Yeah, yeah, we read this. Yes, so the next next verse. So now I got the news that we just read this verse yesterday. <laughs> this was the subject yesterday, at least the words. <laughs> No problem. The good thing, the good news is that this is uh, eternal truth, so it will be constantly <laughs> real. So then let's see. 
Then now we are going to verse 23. This is, I think it's because we become slowly but steady the mind of a manjari. So we cannot count more than 10. So up to 10, it becomes a little complicated to us. <laughs> so now we are up to 20. And so we have to see. <laughs> I think we have made a list Let's somehow. And the last part of this verse was, <coughs> in this way, there are hundreds of meanings of this verse. Blessed is this maid servant, blessed is her service. So hundreds of meanings of this verse. So this is um, the realization of uh, a realized soul is always unique. How to enter in this beautiful book and in this beautiful lila. And everyone can see it with his only heart's eyes. It's so hundreds of meanings. Verse 23, O Rade, when can I follow you? When you go to a trysting bower with the slow gait of an elephant, eager for love play, while I carry divine soft sandalwood paste, perfumes and garlands with me, and I'm showing you the way. Oh, Rate, when can I follow you? When you go to a trusting bower with the slow gait of an elephant, eager for love play, while I carry divine soft sandalwood paste perfumes and garlands with me, and I'm showing you the way. Great eagerness for love play. Commentary. Sri Radha's lusty desires outwardly appear to be the same as the lusty desires in the material world. But factually, these are pure desires to please Krishna's, Mohan's senses. Shepard Rupa Goswami says in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, the love of the gopis has a special sweetness. And, it, and because it looks like ordinary lust, the learned have also called it lust. Shripad, in his kinkery form, runs behind Srimati as she rushes forwards to meet Krishna Mohan filled with lusty desires, showing her the way, keeping her alert and strong by telling her sweet things about Mohan and carrying different ingredients for the Yugala service, such as divine soft sandal pads perfumes and garlands with her. This verse we can see how 
expertly the manjari is concerned about Sri Radhika's welfare, carry with her all the paraphernalia so that she can support her in each and every way that is needed when she is meeting her beloved Krishna within the Kunja, because she knows that Radhika is overwhelmed with her mad love for her Shyama, that she will spoil everything, will be topsy-turvy, upside down. But the Manjari, she stays very calm and she knows already what it will be needed. And then she takes already all the nice paraphernalia with her. And the Manjaris are the only ones who are allowed to be present when Radhika is meeting her Shyama. And as Sri Pat says, it seems that this is like ordinary lust, but it has nothing to do with the lust in the material world, because this is pure love. Because we should understand that with a spiritual body, we don't have material senses. So this has nothing to do with the loss that we are experiencing within this material body. Who is binding us to the material world? So to cultivate our Manjari Svarup, it is important to increase our senses but to increase our spiritual senses. Govardhan means increasing our spiritual senses, coming away from the material conception of life. The first thing to understand is that we are not this body. As Srila Prabhupada is always telling this, we are not this material body, we are an eternal spiritual soul. And not only a soul, we have an eternal spiritual body. Like we talked yesterday already, that that is our constitutional position. Means it is natural for us to be in our eternal form, as a manjari in our case, in the Madhurya Ras. And it is unnatural situation to be within a material body, the situation, the present situation that we are in now. But the beauty is that we can use this sadak deha, this material body, to perform spiritual activities and so get spiritualized. And with the time, in due course of time, when we are performing our bhajan and cultivating that we will become more and more taste, ruchi, for the spiritual thing, a higher taste and a lower taste of the material world naturally will go away. Yes, and by mercy of <clears throat> our Mataji, she gave example yesterday that this is true. We are not this body. And her body was burned in two hours. There was nothing left. And the same will be with our, with this body. But there is something that left. This is the spiritual soul will be there. And from a devotee like her, they will go up to Goloka. And how Gurudev really allowed these things that 
there will only be the holy name of the Lord what is constantly. Very nice question. It was also my realization yesterday to see that there is no guarantee for any day longer that we can stay within this material body. That can come at every time. So therefore it is very important that we use our time in a proper way and that we take advantage of this beautiful spiritual culture, spiritual practice. Now, maybe there is no tomorrow. Who knows? So we should take the opportunity now take advantage of the uh, of the possibility that we can come here to Vrindavan and have the direct association with Kunji and with all these beautiful Vaishnavas who will help us to improve in our spiritual life. Yes, and we can be here in, the, in this time, in this body, we can use our time to enter in the Radha Dasya. So there is no need to wait that the body will finish. So we can do this every day. And then when this body, when we will leave this body, it's only a continuum. Because our meditation, we are still, even in the, in the material world, we are in this abode of our Swamini. So the, there is no meaning of death, of uh, living body and getting new body. And the beauty is that there is no need to get a new body then a new material body. We will stay in our maidservant body. And we can then more realize even our seva to our Swamini. That's very beautiful. And uh, I saw yesterday Gurudev, how he is really a realized beautiful soul. And how happy he was that Mataji leave this old weak body. And that he knows that her soul is 100% on the way, or she is still in Goloka Vrindavan. It's very nice to see how he how he was feeling yesterday. I was uh, in my heart touched when I saw him loudly singing the glories of the holy name <clears throat> Ram Nam Satya and. He also told us to do the same. And we all were singing that and constantly was Bhajan was going in the back and it was a beautiful group led by Shida who was singing constantly the Maha Mantra and it was a very nice, very nice. This is the glory of a real Vaishnava when he is leaving <clears throat> in this way, 
So their family was was uh, for sure they was crying because it's on this level it's the mother. But on the other level we see there is a, a maid servant of Swamini is going home to her. <coughs> And this is very glorious to see this. And we will remember her always sitting in front of Radha Mohan in this small part before the altar. There, this was her place. She was always sitting there and meditating and looking at Radha Mohan and the Manjaris. And she is always, she is always, we remember her always as a, uh, a god sister of Gurudev. She was a disciple of Sri Radha Govinda Das Babaji. This was really a glorious day to see this. And I'm very happy that me and Suniti just arrived. And we heard in the next moment that she left the body because she was some days before without consciousness. And only when she saw that Niti was, was okay, then she could go. And so she did. On the full moon day, and a special, very special day, Thursday. So, this is the way a real Vaishnava is leaving this world. And all her kids was there and grandchildren. And for me, it was also very beautiful to see that this is a very beautiful and respectful culture. How everyone was offering the flowers, putting the garlands, giving our respects to her, taking in consideration that she is a Vaishnavi. I don't know her very much, and we hardly talked to each other, because in Vedic culture, women are very chaste and not used to talk with other men, which is a very cultural nice thing but for me she was always very kind very loving expression caring doing her thing a very sweet person so it was really hard touching for me yesterday the whole ceremony everyone giving we all gave her our last respects appreciating that person and praying for her onward journey. Did you know her a little bit better? So much. You cannot imagine how much care I had to take to bring Prima, Pagalini, Sukkamari, the tender Rata who is mad with love her to you.
Again, I read this. The anxious hero Mohan is out of his mind when he sees the Rasika form of Nagarimani Radha approaching. He's out of his mind. The maidservant chastises him with the gesture of her face and with her words, saying, You made Swamini mad by playing your flute, and you're just quietly sitting here in this kunja. You cannot imagine how much care I had to take to bring Prima Pagalini Sukamari here to you. So only a manjari can chastise Krishna in that way because she is the maidservant of Radharani and she is very concerned about Radharani and saying to him, you make her mad by your flute playing. What are you doing? You're now sitting calmly here in this kunja as if nothing happens. Who can talk like this to Krishna? Only a manjari who is... 100% absorbed in her Swamini can do that. But this is all very loving, jokingly. It is the Lila, because we have to understand that Prajendrananda Krishna, who is never leaving Vrindavan, it is not that he is seen as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He is the local prince, the lover of Radha, because Vrindavan is all in the Madhurya Ras. So everything is possible with love. Then she hands her Swamini over to Mohan and says, Here, take your beloved. How sweet is the mood of the maidservants. <laughs> Suddenly, Shripad's spiritual vision stops, and he anxiously prays to Swamini's lotus feet for another audience. So we can see that why she is, he is praying For another audience, because he or she re knows and realized that this service is, is needed for the Leela. And without her, the Leela will not happen. And so, please, Vamini, give me another so that I will serve you, that you can meet your Moham. There is another reading possible of this verse. Hey, Rade, you are quickly going to see Shamsundara, eager to play amorous games with him. When will I slowly follow you with the steps of an elephant, looking at your footprints in the ground? as I carry soft sandal past, perfumes and garlands. So we see there is a different possibilities of reading this uh, verses. There is no question of right or wrong. It's a question of different levels of understanding. Again, Radhe, you are quickly going to see Shamsundara, eager to play amorous games with him. When will I slowly follow you with the steps of an elephant, looking at your footprints in the ground as I carry soft sandal pass, perfume and gallons? In the previous verse, Sripad prayed, that he wanted to carry Shimati's lotus feet on his 
her head so that she would not hurt her feet at the pebbles and thorns on the way. She had also tried to make Swamini's walk a little bit slower. But how is Shimati able to slow down while she is so irresistibly attracted to Shamsunara? So she is unstoppable. Can a boat without helmsman that is carried away by the forceful waves of a river be stopped simply by saying, stop, wait? Swamini's body is like such an uncontrollable boat carried away by the powerful, attractive current of Shyam Sunna's flute playing. Nobody is able to stop that force. The maidservant is su supposed to arrive at the trysting place together with Swamini because she carries the ingredients of the Yugala Seva with her. But alas, the paraphernalia are so heavy and Swamini walks so fast that she is not able to keep up with her speed. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> the wishful filling tree is coming. Satyavada. <laughs> Yay. Now I have it. You want cafe? Coffee? No? Yes. I'm good. Thank you so much. You want to be sweet? Thank you. We see this is also print Harvard. There is nothing is missing here. Yeah. So the paraphernalia was so heavy that she could not keep up speed with Swamini. But she's doing her best, what she can do. So it means that it is not so important what seva that we are doing. It is more important how we are doing the seva with what attitude that we are doing it. This Manjari, she's giving her heart and soul her Swami. How much are we giving our heart and soul to what we are doing? So attitude... How is Guru Day? Is he awake? Oh. <laughs> ah, okay. So it is more important the attitude that we have towards what we are doing, how we are behaving with others, and how much love that we can develop in our heart or allow to wake up in our heart because prema is there in our heart. But at the present state, it is dormant. And if we want to wake up, uh, Jai Ho! Jai Ho! I will continue and again reading this. Sorry, one thing I have to say, one thing, sorry. So, Adhe Gurude, Adhe, it's muted, we cannot hear Gurude. 
Now we can listen. Yeah. yeah. Radhe Radhe Guru Dev, you are muted. No, we can no, hear you. Not, not is okay now. Um, maybe I just go over. We yeah. can hear you, Guru Dev. Radhe Radhe. So we just uh, uh, spoke about yesterday. And uh, this, uh, what happened yesterday, and uh, how glorious was this day because of uh, this beautiful ceremony when uh, Mataji, when we guide her to the Yamuna, her body. And uh, we just said that there is a continuum when a Vaishnava like her is, is uh, leaving the body, there is actually no meaning because her soul is continuing that what she is meditating in this life. So, this is the difference of a, when an ordinary person is living. They will enter again in, a, in another material body. But the self-realized soul will not enter a new material body. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Yes, okay. Should I go back to the basin? Yes, okay. okay. And he then? You have two of them? I go over them today, not to you. Okay, no problem. Okay. 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 Yeah. Are you still muted? So we are so. So this so happened. Um, it's still no, still no, still no voice you do. Ask if he can hear us. Yes. Uh, we ask. He can hear us. He can hear us. I think so, yeah. Radhe, Radhe. Right now, can you hear us? <coughs> right now, can you hear us? Our voice is there, but your voice is not coming. <laughs> um, wait, let's, let's, let's check. I, I can hear Guru Dev, and I can hear you. Are you, you can hear Gurudev? Mm. Now I hear you, yes. <laughs> I can hear also. Ah, okay. I can hear you also. Uh, okay. Yes, it's uh, in the basement. Oh, I think the problem is, is in the basement. <laughs> problem is in the basement, I think so. Yeah. There is no voice. No voice. No, no, now no I can't voice. hear it. No voice. No voice. No voice. Now it's also no voice. Please up the iPad uh, unmute first. Good and if you please check the basement. Okay. This now is it's okay. I go to the basement. Okay, okay. I can hear you, Guru Dev. Yes. Yes. We hear you, Guru Dev. Yeah. Try. So we have to believe this. Oh, what to do? No voice is coming, Guru Dev. We have to believe this when we see... We have to read from your mouth, <laughs> that is possible. Yeah. <laughs> That's just then we have to learn. We don't believe, but when we see the somebody who leave the soul leave this body, then is only left we spoke Wait, about yeah. this. Wait, maybe that, he's maybe he's muted here. Uh -huh. Maybe he's muted uh, here. I think so. No, no, let, let me do it. He's not muted here. It's showing. Yeah. Watch out! Watch out for this. Move this. Move this. Uh, yeah, careful for the move it. Yeah. Uh, it's like, uh, like they they can hear him. They can hear him. 
Yes. Um, it's weird. Wait. Our audio. Our uh, audio is not working. Select speaker. Okay. Oh. Now we can hear you. Now we can hear you. Yeah, we couldn't hear you. Rather, rather. Yeah. Uh, because we are in the basement, this is some kind of isolation here. No, 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 no. That is switch off. We, we have been one. <laughs> that was there. Yes, our speaker was not working. Yeah. So, thing is this, uh, we not believe that we are soul, but when we see the difference from the, from the soul body and no soul body, then something happens that we have to realize it. That... <laughs> That is the difference. Yesterday we learned a lot, Gurudev. Yes. The main thing we respect when there is a soul, that body. We respect the person if the soul is there and this soul is active through the body. But our false ego is so high that we don't accept that we are soul. That is my... creating karma. We don't serve to the Lord, we serve to the body. That body consciousness. And soul also want to go out from the body. But our material attachment through the body become very heavy. We want to hold that body for my benefit, they may not see the soul comforts. Soul not like to live in suffering body. Or are they one call is coming? Yes, that was yesterday the point. Uh, yeah. He's not uh, as mute as you see the call. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And we could see yesterday how a real Vaishnava is uh, looking at this. How many emotions was there? But because of, of Gurudev's God sister is leaving, he was very happy about this because he see it on a different level than others saw. And it was hard touching to watch this. So Gurudev was happy about that she was able <clears throat> to leave in this way. And take this bread also. Bagel is also there. Bagel and bread. Bagel. Bagel is there. Yeah. No, no, bagel. Bagel, round one. Round one. This, this, this is the bigger. Warm it, warm it, uh, and give. No, no, not all two pieces. 
Two two pieces. Two for tomorrow. Yeah. Hello, Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. We still yes. glorify Radhe. this yesterday, Guru. Hello, Jai Shri Radhe. We are muted. What happened, boy? No, we are not muted. What happened? I don't know, Guru. You I don't can hear. You can hear us. Hello. You can hear us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, now we are back. Take my plate. Huh? Take my plate. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, Sumitra, is that out? Sumitra. No, no, you have a thing, you like coffee. Machine lay up, brother. Chapping. तो कौन बना देगा वहीं से ले आओ चाय चाय तो वहां देगा हां किसके यहां हां ठीक है ये ब्रेड बनवा देते हैं ये बना देंगे कॉफी लगा के बटर लगा के ठीक है बात कर अपने में चाय के करा दा हां हां हरा चना भी लेते हैं ना वहीं रखो हां दीदी हां क्या बोले आज घर पे नहीं बना रही हूं मैं मैं हां कह दो कि हम बाहर से ला रहे हैं हम हां कॉफी नहीं बना रहे हैं चाय ही बना रहे हैं उन्हें हां नंबर आप पापे के पास हूं आप कॉफी मत बनाइए ना मैं चाय बनाते हैं जैसे चला किन्हीं ने देना हो तो वहीं पर स्टेबिया दरवाजा राधे राधे हाँ जी राधे जाइए राधे सॉरी वेरी स्पेशल टाइम या व्हाट टू डू टू लर्न टू लर्न गुड है हाउ टू हैंडल Soul and body. <coughs> Rade, you are quickly going to see Shamsundara. I'm the jacket lying in here. Eager to play amorous games with him. When will I slowly follow you with the steps of an elephant? Looking at your footprints in the ground as I carry soft sandal paste, perfumes, and garlands. In the previous verse, Sripa prayed that he wanted to carry Shimati's lotus feet on his or her head so that she would not hurt her feet at the pebbles and thorns on the way. She had also tried to make Swamini's walk a little bit slower. But how is Srimati able to slow down while she is so irresistibly attracted to Shamsundara? Can a boat without helmsman that is carried away Warmit, by, the, Warmit. Yes. by the forceful waves of a river be stopped simply by saying, stop, wait. Swamini's body is like such an uncontrollable boat carried away by the powerful, attractive current of Shamsundara's flute playing. Nobody is able to stop that force. The maidservant is supposed to arrive 
at the trysting place together with Swamini, because she carries the ingredients of the Yugala Seva with her. But alas, the paraphernalia are so heavy and Swamini's walk is so fast that she is not able to keep up with her speed. Rather, she sees Swamini going out of sight who will show this maidservant the way now. Suddenly she sees the special marks. Your bread out. Shimati's foot soles. Like the moonbeam, the barleycorn. Not keep in the floor. The disc. Not keep on floor. The flower wine, etc. Plate, plate, plate. Plate, plate. Ah. On the ground, and she follows the track while her hair stands on end of ecstasy. Butter in the bread, on yeah. bread. There's a little point here. The, look at the, he's saying there's another reading. Basically, what's missing, I mean, what they've added to this other reading is the foot, is the foot soles, following the foot soles. Mm. This is the main difference in the two readings. In the first, in the original translation, there's nothing about following the footsteps. Do you understand? But you can repeat our that. Siddhanta. Mm. Uh, his voice is a little far. Is possible uh, close with the mic? No, but I can't speak so much. So he is at the moment. He is he's a little sick, so she, he cannot uh, speak so loud. Yeah, but we can make the point that the. The, uh, the the signs of the footprints of Swamini makes the difference in the reading, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just not so much difference. Only this part about the footprints. This is the emphasis. Uh -huh. What the, what Shibat is emphasizing here, and he goes on to explain also uh, contrasting with Krishna's. But so is the book because following his but so is when he makes the rasa. So, so much emphasis on the lotus feet of Shivadarani. This is really important for us who made service to have this attraction to the lotus feet of Shivadarani. So, we follow the lotus feet of our Swamini, watching the signs and the sand. We are fixed on her lotus feet. So even when we lose sight of her, the foot sole, the foot print is enough. So still, we are still in ecstasy. We're seeing the feet, you know, it's amazing. That makes <laughs> the hair of the maidservants stand on ecstasy. <laughs> when they see Swamini's footprints, Gurudev, Gurudev Siddhanta says uh, that we should become uh, a natural attraction to the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika. How we can become attracted to the lotus feet? Where we are, this is the nature that we attract there. Door to plate love no bahar mehana bada bada. Is steel ka plate love here. Door to bada bada plate lea. A chota vi chato le no. He's a natural. He's right. Natural is this uh, that we are two places attracted. One is my material body attraction and one is my soul sarup attraction. What I, I develop, that I attract. If I develop my body, material body attraction, huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. then I attract in the <laughs> material body. And if I fix my sarup, spiritual body, in my form, then I attract there and we, 
खबर ले जाओ खबर करके ना बंधन ले जाएगा सब भी और राजा भी है और लोगों तो खाएंगे चाय के साथ और दे जाओ बना रहे हैं वो ले जाओ ना साथ में प्लेट चाट हो ले जाओ वो सफेद वाला और कैट हुआ है इसमें क्या पीस है भाई और ले जाओ ना यार और छोटा वाला भी प्लेट ले जाओ ना कैसे दोगे चाट पीस वो प्लेट ले जाओ तो लोग खाते रहेंगे सो ये अट्रैक्शन वेर इज माई अट्रैक्शन इन माई नेचुरल वेर वी आर we attract them and we want to do karma then we attract from material karma and when we attract in my spiritual body then we out of the karma because karma comes in my material body siddhanta prabhu come in the front there is a chair you don't talk sit listen sit this is the answer you affect others because you no know, point to affect yeah this is the thing my my realization say like this when i was in my material body i want uh, to do efforts for my senses my ego my things and that i am doing sometime i success sometime not success but when i am in spiritual body everything happen and i serve in the bay of service it was a big thing for the family but you see i do my service people say oh, how you become so young i said because i have to serve hi <laughs> <laughs> rather so service is the main thing in which consciousness we serve and we are balanced in his spiritual body we become in balance in material body that the reality a uh, plate chota wala plate de dijiye chat bas wah chara diya hai um this is my this is my experience and you see this radha rani lotus feet this is our meditation to practice in his spiritual body we are not in his spiritual body when we will think for radhika and the lotus feet of radhika and i see that how we i want to say slow to her but she don't want to be slow because he has to meet with his krishna so he don't she don't want to be slow we do the thing is spiritual thing for the krishna slow but radhika is never slow she want to be very fast to do that meet krishna but we are slow in his spiritual practice to the go to the krishna and very fast for the material service material like activities <laughs> but if we are aware good if we will find her footprint somewhere even in that slowness when we are slow but desire has to be there greedy narayan mala jalwa se we need the greed for that attention all i have no greed nobody can help in raga bhakti no not possible no pass i remember our plan wallava when i i i am very close with padmavati her wife she was my disciple from long time but when i meet with him he keep distance from me <laughs> right or not yeah right yeah very distance yeah 
<laughs> but now it's become so attached and loving that we feel one tuning. Yeah, I could be. That's true. Yeah. I'm happy now. <laughs> yeah. So, I, 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 but I, I do nothing. He relies himself. <laughs> you are the same, huh? <laughs> huh? I'm the same. <laughs> I'm like before his friend, and still I am his friend. Yeah. We are all brothers, yes. right? Sisters, yes, Guru Sisters, sisters, brothers and sisters. Yes, so, my dear. Huh? Yeah, yes, you know, Guru I was then at that time when we met first. I was like institutionally damaged about how to, what is a real guru and what is not a guru and all this. Because of that, I kept that distance. But that mistake was on my side. <laughs> so, but I never keep any distance from you. I know, Guru. Yeah. And that made my heart melt at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm very thankful. And how can see now how real love works? Love is in the heart of everyone. This prema, I think this is like dry wood, <clears throat> and this. Dry wood has to be set on fire, and it can be set only to fire if we come in contact with someone who has this fire. And if, yeah. Thank you, Gurudev. Uh, Gurudev, you're muted again. <laughs> yeah. Now, now you're back. Yeah. No problem. We are, we are the we have a goal in our life, right? So in Hindi they say, if you have a goal, you are a pathik, pathik means who is walking on the goal, for the goal. So when we walk on for the goal, there are many stones coming. Muddy roads come. Radharani, in night time, without light, walking to meet Krishna. This is our way. And she has a, many thorns on the way. Uh, and many muddy roads are there. But it's made of that. Thorns means we walk, we, some thorns come in my feet, we cannot walk, we stop walking. Yeah. But the Radhika never stop walking. Radharani is walking on and on with the thorns. She has no time to take it out of that. And the Manjari also. And when she is, she is practicing in daytime, how to walk in muddy road, but Manjari not tried more. So she sleep. She has a nice clothes, all become muddy. Then Radhika said, go and change the clothes. <laughs> she said, no, Swami, I will not leave you. So we have muddy road also in our life. 
we sleep also in muddy road. And the Swami said, go and change the clothes. You fall down, you are not fit to walk with me. <laughs> you are fallen. But Radhi, so Mandri say, I will, I fall down. Your help again, I will walk, but I will not change my clothes. I will walk with my muddy clothes. I have no time to leave you and go to home to change my clothes again. This is Radha Dasya. So many times we fall down and our clothes become dirty. What is meaning that we become dirty with my behavior? Many black spots come to us. But Manjali never leave that circumstance. She want to walk in that position. And Swamini give mercy Radhika that she remove all our dirtiness and she us make us clean, baby. Mm. This is the only hope of Manjari. Mm. In any condition, I will not leave you. Yes. What you give me service, I will do because you ordered me to do that. All services are the service of my Swami. That is meaning of my Jiva. I cannot leave you. You need, no. you need to service also, Swamini. I know you. You need my service. Without yeah. me, you cannot go. You is not possible. You need me. Yes. Really, you need you me. You need me, and I need you. And I need you. I cannot live without you. There is no existence of me without you. No meaning of me. The, uh, you are the original. I am the shadow of that original. How I will exist? My my identification will not exist if the original, you are not there. I bet you. We belong together. Yeah, this is the beauty. This is the beauty. Rather. When little Mohan stole yogurt from the cowherd woman, Mother Yashoda was able to find him by following his yogurt smeared footprints. Wow. The people of Braj anxiously followed Mohan's footprints until they reached the Kalya Lake where they witnesses how he defeated the Kalia snake. And when Radha... What is Kalia snake, you know? Our false ego. False ego. He's a Kalia poisonous. And very poisonous. Very. And that false ego want to fight with Krishna. This Kalia snake, 
and when he start pressing from his snake body to krishna and krishna want to enlarge his body virat sarupa then he blood start coming then the wives come and praying to the krishna why you want to kill my hell he say he discardia is disturbing all brajwasi and he want to make this ego high to them false ego want to but i don't like kaliya should stay in braja krishna say what is meaning that false ego not stay in braja bhumi <laughs> The Brajwasi not need false ego. If they have to go, they have to go out from the f- who has a false ego. He not kill this, but he send away from Raj. No, he no kill. He dance on the Kadia. He get out the poison. No. one thing more in see if in my head kaliya is dancing and on the false ego in the snake in my head my sna- head is a snake false ego come from my head mm-hmm. and if the krishna is in my mind false ego cannot come the moment i forget krishna false ego attack me <laughs> therefore we have to be always focused gurudev gurudev you are muted again no voice gurudev <laughs> no voice coming ah gurudev No voice, no voice. Maybe he's in form, maybe. Oh. Yeah, maybe in form. Yeah. So then we read, we yeah. continue. Very good. He defeated Kaliya snake. So the Kaliya, we cannot throw the poison. We go false, you cannot attack me if Krishna is always in my head. so he is dancing dancing means never leaving that head so their poison cannot stay of the false ego that the beauty of krishna dance on the kaliya <laughs> what is the read the line The people of Raj anxiously followed Krishna's footprints until they reached the Kaliya lake where they witnesses how he defeated the Kaliya snake that the point we, when we are Krishna devotee we go follow up Uh, soul of the jamna radhika's manjaris follow all the time because you need me and the brajwasi follow to soul of the kaliya because they cannot jump in the water they will die this is the difference read again the people of braj anxiously follow krishna's footprints until yeah, they follow the footprint uh-huh. until they reach the kaliya lake lake means the jamna the shore of jamna 
<laughs> where they witnessed how he defeat the Kalia snake. I read the whole verse again. When little yeah, Mohan... You will see the difference. <laughs> what, how the Radhika's devotees are doing, how the Krishna devotees are doing. So we start from the little Mohan stole yogurt from the cowherd yeah. woman. Yeah. Mother Yasoda was able to find him by following his yogurt smeared footprints. Mm. And the people of Braj anxiously followed Mohan's footprints until they reached the Kalia Lake, where they witnessed how he defeated the Kalia snake. And when Radha and Mohan left the gopis during the Rasa dance, the gopis found them back by following their market footprints. The practicing devotees also always remember the foot marks of the Lord to conquer the obstacles they meet on their spiritual path and are ultimately blessed with his their direct audience in this way. And now is following Swamini's footprints, the dedicated maidservant also arises in the Kunja and is blessed with the sweet service of the Yoga Lakisho. Jaho, understand? Three type of the follower. Yes. One is all they are following the feet. One is the Manjari, one is the Gopi, one is the Krishna devotee. Now you read again from the upper. These are the three type of person who follow the footsteps of the his istadev. Up to yeah. where they follow and where they stop. <laughs> well, and little... what Manjari is following and where they stop. <laughs> Radhe, Radhe. <laughs> <laughs> When little more This is very nice, very nice pastime. Beautiful. Go to the pastime and see that. <laughs> what you like to practice, that depends upon us. Yeah. We want to follow what type of way and how we want to achieve. And the goal is there, mm -hmm. described. <clears throat> When little Mohan stole yogurt from the cowherd woman, Mother Yashoda was able to find him by following his yogurt smeared footprints. The people of Braj anxiously followed Krishna's footprints until they reached the Kalia Lake were they witnesses how he defeated the Kalia snake? They come to the Kalia lake. Mm -hmm. And when Radha and Mohan left the gopis during the da Rasa dance, the gopis found them back by following their market footprints. Mm -hmm. The practicing devotees also always remember the footmarks, always remember the footmarks of the Lord to conquer the obstacles <laughs> they meet on their spiritual paths. How good they've explained just now. And are ultimately blessed with his direct audience in this way. Following Swamini's footprints. The dedicated maidservant also arrived in the Kunja and is blessed with the sweet service of the Yoga Lakishore.
So we here is nicely described how different devotees following different paths and find different goals. And it's clear what we will find after following Swamini's footprints. We will arrive in the Kunja and we get the service of the Yoga Lucky Shore. This is the kitchen. Oh, she Rade, Queen of the Bowers. When you go to the trysting place, overcome by lusty <coughs> desires and maddened with feelings of love, walking like an elephant, I will follow you, holding perfumes, divine garlands, sandal paste, and other ingredients for your service with me, showing you the way and enchanting you by singing Hari's glories to you. Again, I read this. Oshi Rade, Queen of the Boas, when you go to the trysting place, overcome by lusty desires and maddened with feelings of love, walking like an elephant, no stoppable, I will follow you, holding perfumes, divine garlands, sandal paste, and other ingredients for your service with me, showing you the way and enchanting you by singing Hari's glories to you. Sri Prabodananda says, O oh, Sri Radhike, my mistress, please fulfill this strong desire on my mind. May I live in the Kunja, abode in Vrindavan. So beautiful. This is our life as a maid servant. This is our prayer. And we really exclusively follow her footprints to reach the Kunja. We can do the Seva. So we can meditate today. Very beautiful on this topic. how to follow Swamini's footprints. And also praying for this. I noticed that uh, on every end, each end of the third word, Prabhupada Saraswati Thakur makes a prayer for that. He prays to go deep and that he can meditate upon that and then we can even calm you. So we have to pray for that <laughs> and be eager and have a sacred creed for this to happen in our own lives. As Gurudev said, it is depending on our desire which footsteps we want to follow. So that has to be clear, what we want, what kind of path that we want. And there we have to approach, to follow. That footsteps we have to follow, so that we can reach the proper goal. The desired goal, it has to be the desired goal. Yes, and I want to also add a little bit um, in this regard about the glories of, of Mataji. 
because Baba was showing us in this purport how according to my own desires I will reach a certain goal. So even in relationship to Radha and Mohan. And then I remember when Mataji was traveling, I met her in Kalindi's house and together with Gurudev. And then uh, Gurudev was introducing me kind of to Mataji and he said, oh, look at this uh, uh, Suniti. She can sing many songs, play harmonium, Zumaniti. And then I was playing harmonium. I was singing songs. And then Gurudev said, yes, and Mataji, she likes, the best she likes, Radha Kripa Kataksh. So then uh, we were singing uh, the glories of Sri Mati Radhika together. And uh, uh, Radha Mataji all can all know all the song by heart. So in the same way, also we can see a person from different views. We can see Mataji. She was ex-wife or mother of the children. She was also disciple of Radha Govinda Das Babaji, but she was. A practicing manjari, practicing to go and glorify Srimati Radhika for eternity. And that will make our relationship so precious because she was always blessing us, always giving blessings also for our spiritual path, always eager to go in front of Radha Mohan. I remember when we did the pujas and arti and all the abhishek, Mataji was so eager, always eager, to bathe Sri Radhika and Mohan. And she always would take long time for bathing. That was her mood. She was always eager. She always tried to, you know, give the glories to Radha Mohan and always go close to Radha Mohan. She was inside the cave. She always was the first one to get the ghee lamp and to uh, offer the incense. She was very eager always to always glorify and worship Srimati Radhika. But according to my vision, I see and I feel a person. I can see her in many ways. I can see any person in many ways. But, yes, I want to feel. I want to feel her as a Darcy. I want to feel her mercy, you know, her eagerness, and inspire me in my life also to continue that path. Even like would if you say, many mods are coming, I'm slipping. But I will not leave that path. I will go on and I will always try to become and be a good servant of Srimati Radhika's servants. Be a Dasi of the Dasi and grow in that feeling, in that path that I remember. And how much Mataji always loved to sing Radha Kripa Kataksha. And she was very much uh, singing it always from the high tune. She had a very sweet voice in the high voice. And always she also come to all the... So we, we, when we are especially also, we remember she liked to always sing Shri Guru. Jaya Jaya Shri Guru Prema Kalapataru. I can always remember her voice when we were singing the Vandanas of Radha Govinda Das Babaji, she was always singing very high, sweet voice that all the prayers, and she always loved to sing and go to all the artists when her health was good. Sometimes the health was not so good, then she cannot come, but otherwise you can always count on her to be in all the arti and all the pujas. 
and sing by the very sweet voice mm -hmm. glories of Shiva Tadadika. And also very familiar to Radha Mohan. It was her family. <laughs> Jai Jai Shri Rathya Rathya 